another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today we're going to be talking about, or I'm going to be enjoying, the Beer de Garde by Ferment Brewing Company. That is not Fremont, that is Ferment out of um, Hood River, Oregon. I had the privilege of visiting Ferment Brewing uh, last week while helping out my brother and sister, and uh, they are a microbrewery, I guess, that specializes in um, wild and farmhouse style ales. They also have stouts and, and pilsners and box and the like, um, or I don't know if they have pilsners, but they have box and they have stouts and such like that. But they say on their own website that they specialize in the farmhouse style. And for y'all that know me, you know, I like the farmhouse style. So the beer to guard is, well, one of the other um, common farmhouse style beers is the Saison, which I've had a few on this channel. Uh, I really enjoy the Saison style in general. That is a uh, generally a wild fermented or a Brotanomyces fermented um, ale that is typically light colored, like straw usually, and has a uh, generally a fruity character, malty and fruity, uh, vinous or wine-like, vinous, vinous, vinous maybe. <laughs> I learned the word by reading, not by hearing. <laughs> um, so, Saison and Beer de Garde together make up the, the two main styles in farmhouse brewing or farmhouse ale, uh, the farmhouse ale family. The difference is primarily the regions in which they were popularized. So they both came from very similar regions to begin with. That is northern, northeastern France. Uh, the Saison style is more traditionally Belgian in its development and extraction. And the Beer de Garde is more commonly the uh, uh, French in development and extraction. And they've enjoyed separate histories. Beer de Garde literally means beer for storing or beer for keeping. So it's meant to be, in general, a higher ABV, 7 to 8% even, uh, than a traditional, um, than a more quickly fermenting or quickly drunk uh, the farmhouse ale. In general, the farmers produced two types of beers. There were the beers that were brewed quickly and then drunk quickly. Those were usually low alcohol by volume. You didn't want your farmhands farm hands drunk. And then there was the beer de garde, the beer that was uh, brewed at a higher ABV so it would keep longer and then therefore be drunk at a later time. The Beer de Garde style has a bit of a history, as does every beer style, and uh, but in general, the character that you'll find most typifies the family is going to be a pronounced maltiness, and then a a a wine-like character that is generally towards the fruitier and possibly tart side. Um, this particular version, the Beer de Garde by Ferment Brewing Company, they state on their website that they are trying to be common to style. Uh, they specifically note a one of the earliest written descriptions of the Beer de Garde style as being one of their tar as being their target with this particular beer, and um, they to that end they use malts. They use German and French and English malts, so European malts, but they use wild ale or wild yeasts from the uh, Mount Hood region of Oregon, giving this a definite terroir. How do you pronounce that word? Terroir? Terroir? The T E R R O I, no, I O R. O I I O R. The, the word typically used in reference to wines that indicates this wine has flavors um, that are reminiscent of or derived from the region that 
it was made from. So you can taste the regionality in this beer is its specific goal. Uh, this is relatively low for a beer to guard at only 5.8% ABV. Um, I'm going to expect this to not have very much bitterness. Uh, the hops are there, but in this case they should add a spiciness and possibly an herbal note, but not really a pronounced bitterness. Um, yeah, so let's open this up and give this a try. Oh. So when I was at the Ferment Brewing Company uh, a week ago, I asked them where I could find these beers because I'm only a couple hours north of them. Um, and they said that they sometimes get as far as Portland, <laughs> which is literally just down the road from them. Uh, they are in Hood River and Portland's just up, just past Multnomah Falls down the road from them. Uh, so this is a true microbrewery and it will likely be difficult to find them outside of that location. But if you're going through Hood River, besides checking out Freem and Full Sail, definitely give Ferment a try is what I'm going to suggest. They have the, the three beers of theirs that I've drunk so far were all quite good. And their, their philosophy, like their wild beer styles and kind of European styles are definitely something that, that appeals to me. So let's open this up and see how it is. Yep, smelling the tartness there. Ooh, oh, that's a, ooh, that's a pretty color. Okay, it's to the red side of, um, it's to the red side of straw. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's orange, but they, they started at straw and headed redward like a, like a rosé almost um, and it's and it's really really nice it's it's not it's not deep enough to be a honey uh, what would you call this not sure uh, the head is hanging on pretty well there there's some small bubbles coming through that are still still coming but the head doesn't disappear very quickly mm, fields but fields of flowers Definitely uh, like wine grapes, like tart sour grapes. Well, that head's just hanging on. And the head isn't pure white. There's a definite creaminess to it. Hmm. Uh, it smells definitely tart. Um, not, not like bracingly so, just there's a tartness to it. And there's a, um, there's a funkiness underneath it too. Well, let's give it a taste. Okay, okay, um, yes. So definitely there's a wine-like character, but unlike a Saison, this is very much maltier, very much more malty than a, than a Saison. Uh, you're not getting like that explosion of fresh, tart grape um, and, and, and field flowers that you're expecting with a Saison. Instead, there's a almost a, a boozy level of maltiness, but it's not a high ABV, so it's not booze, it's just the malt. Um, it's a very nice kind of a, a funky maltiness. Um, I'm expecting the funkiness is probably from the Hood, the hood uh, Mount Hood region yeasts that they used. Um, I haven't explored too many beers with that yeast strain, so I'm not sure if I could you know, say that's a general character, but that funkiness I would also expect to be associated with the Britannomyces, which is definitely um, I'd expect that funkiness to be associated with the Britannomyces, which is definitely a favorite of mine, and I'm relatively familiar with that flavor. Um, but it's it's different in character. It's not. Um, it's different. It's. Uh, I'm not sure if I could describe it. Uh, it's it's similar, but not the same. 
so there is there is a very very great fruitiness to this uh, but it's balanced against this much more dominant malt character that uh, makes it a very very different beer from a saison so definitely definitely different um, i'll give them that this is still considered a traditionally a summer beer so this would be drunk this would be made during the cool months of late winter early spring and then it would be aged or stored until the warm months of summer and later summer um, but this is it definitely tastes more like a bock um, it, it reminds me a lot of the my bock the copper mountain my bock without the 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 less pleasant chemical notes that i noted in that one but yeah definitely that that stronger european maltiness and uh yeah okay so I, there's there's a bit of a spiciness too i'm not sure if i'm picking the herbal notes up but i'd imagine that those will become more more pronounced as the beer warms but it is a very it's a very interesting beer i'm I'm trying to think if I've had a beer to guard before. It's not a super common style to find in the U.S., but it definitely the beer to guard definitely slots in in between the the Bach, the German uh, Bach style, the the medium box, the my Bach or such like that, um, and the Saison. It has it, it it has characteristics of each, and that makes for a very interesting beer. So it has the, the funkiness and the bright fruit tartness of the Saison, but it also has that uh, rich, sweet maltiness of the, of the, the Bach style. That, that makes it quite interesting. And probably for us, for, for an American palate or for my palate, it, it maybe seems less appropriate for the warm weather, which makes it a, you know, a, a late spring beer just perfect for that sort of thing. Makes it a, a very nice late spring beer. I, I enjoy it for that. That's quite nice. So I believe that's my first experience with, oh, finish. Sorry, I should talk about the finish too. Um, the, the malt character is probably the part that lingers the most in my mouth. That stays in there the longest. Uh, the juiciness kind of finishes almost water-like, pretty clean. And then I'm just left with this, this lingering maltiness. That's, uh, like a, a, once again, it, it, it harks back to the, the to the Maybach style, um, so that's quite interesting. Uh, I believe it's my first beer to guard, and it's uh, the first of the. It's probably going to be the first. Well, I don't know if it'll be the first of the Fremont Brewing Company beers that I've um, that I'll post up on the channel, um, but it's only the fourth <laughs> Fremont Brewing beer that I've tried, and uh, the first of their wilds, and I like it quite a lot. So definitely, if you are in Hood River or that vicinity, I would check out Fremont Brewing Company if you get a chance. They have a little um, uh, brew pub there, and that's quite nice. And they have apparently on their Instagram they talk a lot about their homemade <laughs> or uh, yeah, like homemade uh, frozen yogurt <laughs> that they sell there, which is kind of kind of interesting. Frozen yogurt from a beer pub. Why not? Um, I had a salad there with lamb and some homemade uh, sauerkraut and homemade pickles. And their sauerkraut and pickles were something special. Their lamb was pretty good too. Uh, but yeah, so this has been Beer to Guard by Fremont Brewing Company. Sorry, Beer to Guard by Ferment Brewing Company. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.